Handy Hudsonite here. Today I'm going to show you how to pair your AirPods with your Windows computer, with your Windows device, and how to use your AirPods with Zoom and also with Microsoft Teams. But I'm going to go a step beyond that and I'm going to show you how to boost the mic quality for using AirPods on a virtual call like Zoom or Microsoft Teams. So let's get into how to connect your AirPods to Windows 10. It's very simple to do. All you have to do is open up the Bluetooth settings on your computer like I have here. And if you don't have, if you have a desktop and it doesn't have a Bluetooth uh, receiving device, then you can pick one up like the one I have. I'll put the link in the description so that you can connect a Bluetooth device to your computer. If it's a laptop, chances are there's probably already a Bluetooth device built in. So to connect our AirPods, make sure the Bluetooth settings are turned on in Windows. In order for us to connect the AirPods to our Windows 10 machine, we need to open up the lid on our AirPods and then press this button on the back, which will put the AirPods into pairing mode, as you can see by my flashing white light. So we open up the add Bluetooth on Windows 10, click on Bluetooth to add a Bluetooth device, and there are my my AirPods. I click it to connect them to my case, to my AirPods. Okay, so now my AirPods are ready to go. One thing I want to point it out, and this is an important distinction when you connect your AirPods to your Windows 10 device, make sure that it says connected voice and music. If it has to be connected to voice so that it, you can use it for your Zoom or your Microsoft Teams meetings. So let's now go open up Zoom and we'll see how to connect our AirPods to our Zoom meeting. Go into settings here, click on audio and under test speaker, now there's going to be a couple of different options for your AirPods in here. You want to make sure that you check headset, because if you don't check headset, then your mic, I found that your mic isn't going to work properly on your AirPods. So under mic, do headset again for AirPods hands-free AG audio. That's what it shows on mine. And you can click test speaker to make sure you can hear the sound in your ears and test the mic. Now, I mentioned earlier that there's a better way to get good microphone sound because the, the mic on the AirPods device isn't that great on any of the AirPods devices, AirPods Pro, AirPods Max even. The microphone just isn't a fantastic device. So what I've done, and I have a USB mic that's very affordable. I'll put the link in the description if you want to pick one up. It's the Fifine mic that I'm using for this video. All I have to do is for microphone, I'll choose that as my microphone input. So I will go here to the Fifine K678 microphone and let me show you the difference that you're going to see with the Zoom call in this short clip that I recorded on Zoom. Okay, so this is the quality that you're going to get on Zoom with your AirPods mic. And as you can see, it's fairly muffled and doesn't sound all that great. But here, if I switch over to my Fifine mic here that I have, you'll notice a considerable difference in the sound quality between these two, but I'll still be listening to the sound from my AirPods. So now I'm talking through the Fifine microphone the USB microphone, and I'll have a link in the description below for how you can get this on Amazon if you want it. And you can see that the, the quality of my voice is considerably better than using the AirPods microphone. So you can see the huge difference in sound quality with changing your mics, and you can still have your AirPods as your headset so you can reduce the amount of echo that may be picked up for other participants in your call. Let's go check to see how we set this up in Teams. Okay, so here I am in Teams and we will go up here and click on your, uh, your icon here, open it up, click settings, 
come over here to devices now again for the speaker you're going to want the headset airpods hands-free ag audio so it, your airpods will work properly and then the headset airpods hands-free for your mic and again if you have a condenser mic usb mic and you again uh, i'll have the link for the one that i use you can choose that and your sound quality is just going to be a ton better and I'll show you here in this recording that I did on Teams the difference between using the AirPods mic and the Fifine USB mic that I have. Okay, now I'm using my AirPods in Microsoft Teams meeting. So I have them set in the settings to be both my speaker and my microphone. But you'll notice a really big difference when I switch over to my USB mic, my Fifine um, microphone. Now you'll notice a huge difference in quality with my voice, so that way I can still listen with my AirPods, but yet use the, the Fifine USB microphone or whatever microphone that you have that gives you much better quality than you're going to get in your AirPods, and even better than you would get in your AirPods Pro or even AirPods Max microphone. One last tip when it comes to Teams here, I found that uh, keeping my noise suppression setting at low um, maximizes the quality that I'm going to get in uh, the call using my microphone. So that's that's how you set up your AirPods with Microsoft Teams and with Zoom. And be sure to let me know in the comments below any questions that you have about your experience or any issues that you come up against with using your AirPods with a Zoom or Teams call uh, or trying to use a better mic in those situations. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more tips and tutorials like this, and don't forget to like the video so that YouTube will share it out, and I will see you in the next one.